Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dame the Real Producer, and like, don't you hate it when Ableton crashes sometimes? Because sometimes, like, you just might get these messages and these weird errors, error messages and stuff like that, and and they keep coming up. You know, like I had got this um this error message right, and I actually recorded it the last time I um I got it, so I want um I want um I won't forget what what message that actually came up so this is the message that came up especially like it starts coming up when i when i try to exit so when i go to um save something or quit you know like you hit the file quit this error comes up you know and yeah it would keep coming up you would have to um actually shut down task manager you know what i mean and it's kind of annoying but the first time it happened to me, um, I actually, um, I think I Googled it. I Googled it and nothing would come up, but it did say something about the, um, like, um, the, the app data. Cause, um, with Ableton, the app data actually goes into a folder. So, you know, and this is where I was like, actually, um, yeah, trying to shut Ableton down and, <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny. I mean, not funny, but, you know, but like the fix for it or at least the fix for any type of crash, then you would um actually have to like go through like the actual the as a matter of fact, in the message, it says the folder that you would have to go to. So it's right here. It's um, it's um, C users, admin, app data, roaming, Ableton live. And then it says 11.3 or whatever Ableton you're using. And it says um, 11.3 to preferences library. So library is the. And it's a CFG. It's a, I guess it must be like configuration file or whatever. So I went to that directory and the directory is like, let me see if I can find it. Um, Remember from the top of my head, the directory would be like if you're in Windows, then you go to to the C local disk, right? And go to um users, then admin. Let me let me make it a little oh still ain't bigger. <laughs> C users admin. Then this app data. Then you go to local. Am I sure is this is local? Let me see. Let me see. Local Ableton. Nah, not there. It's going to be roaming. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's roaming. Roaming Ableton. Then the 11.3.2 or whatever Ableton you're using. It's going to be. You click on that one. 11. Point whatever and go to preferences. And this is where it all happens right here. This is where it all happens The all the crashes. So you'll see everything show up like base files, crash, undo. So Ableton, the temp files is all the, you know, the regular stuff and all the stuff you've been through, <laughs> you know, so it's like, but the, the CFG file is actually right here. So you could, it's actually a crash recovery info, but the, the the it'll tell you the file that's actually in the um the crash report when you see that message in Ableton so you will have to like screen record it or take a picture or something so then you go to yeah so the library right here my crash was the library and other things but you know the how to start Ableton brand new without losing anything is actually um you could just delete you could you could even delete the whole thing. It, it it'll just start brand new and have to find the VSTs all over again. But you won't lose anything. But you know you could whatever's in that actual error message. You could just delete it and then restart your computer and then boom, able to restart brand brand new, and you won't have all the crashes in there. But you won't lose anything. Is you'll have all your beats, your your files, your music stuff, but that's something that I learned from having that crash, and now now I know where to um to actually 
like get the fix or try to correct like whatever um crash crashes that's that has happened so you know there you go so it, it helps it helps a lot and i'm glad i found figured it out you know so thanks thanks for watching and i hope that helped y'all and it's dame the real the producer signing off peace